What's going on guys, RBG here bringing you more news and updates on the newly announced Marvel's Wolverine game. I know there have been a lot of speculations and questions revolving around a number of things, so I'm going to do my due diligence to clarify everything. But firstly, before we dive into the video, I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. I know it's a little out of the norm for me to ask you guys to do that, but YouTube's algorithm sort of encourages it. So if you rock with your boy and you know I'm going to give you that great content, then smash the like button. And if by chance you make it to the end of the video and it wasn't satisfactory, you're more than welcome to dislike it. But yeah guys, as I was saying, there are a lot of questions revolving around Marvel's Wolverine which will be developed by Insomniac Games. It's recently been announced that it will be developed by the same team that worked on Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, and it's been highly alluded that the game will take place within the same universe as Marvel Spider-Man, because that particular version of Spider-Man takes place in the newly introduced Earth-1048, and there are multiple easter eggs within Wolverine trailers that give off the hints that him and Insomniac's version of Spidey share the same continuity. So now that it's been confirmed, fans are wondering how it could impact this upcoming game, because Marvel Spider-Man is relatively tame when it comes to violence violence and gore. Like I'd even go so far as to say that the developers didn't really try to push that T for teen rating like they did for other games. There was hardly any blood in Marvel Spider-Man which has people worried that the Wolverine game will be in the same vein. But I mentioned that there is a way that they can go for a more mature vibe while still being able to have the two characters coexist in the same universe. For one, the comics have always managed to get away with this as long as they keep the character self-contained within its own story. Once they decide to feature Wolverine alongside Spider-Man in his game, they can dial down the blood and gore. I think it all depends on what he's slashing or what kind of moves he inflicts on enemies. But anyways, according to the creative director Brian Horton, Marvel's Wolverine will be rated M for mature or at least have a mature tone. After announcing that he will indeed be the creative director for Marvel's Wolverine, a user by the handle of Amari1770 asked him if the game would be a full-sized or smaller release like last year's Spider-Man Miles Morales, and he replied that Marvel's Wolverine will be full-sized and it will have a mature tone. And as you can imagine, fans were super excited to hear this news, because everything pertaining to this particular character in terms of gaming and movies has been extremely violent. X-Men Origins Wolverine Uncased Edition, which was based on a PG-13 movie, is the most graphic violent video game to date for Wolverine. The game isn't easily as accessible as it was when it originally came out since it's been blacklisted after the deal between Marvel and Activision expired, but I implore you to scrounge around the internet to find a physical copy of it and experience it for yourself if you haven't already. Anyways, after almost a decade later, Fox decided to follow the same path as this game and allow Wolverine to really cut loose on the live action side of things with Logan. So not only can Insomniac take notes with how the devs handled the X-Men Origins game, they can also lift some things from the Logan movie. If you've noticed, that's been their main approach when it comes to developing their Spider-Man games. Like, they've essentially taken the core mechanics from one of their early Spider-Man games and combined it with some of the sickest moves from the latest Spider-Man movies. So I have strong faith that they'll do the same with Wolverine because there's just a ton of stuff they can play around with when it comes to what he can do. They can even go for some of the more crazy moves from games like Marvel vs. Capcom Wolverine. Like just imagine performing a tornado claw and dismembering multiple enemies in your path. Anyways, another clue that confirms that Marvel's Wolverine will get the mature rating is the fact that in order to watch the trailer on sites like PlayStation Blog, you have to confirm that you're 18 or older. And I have a nagging suspicion that Sony deliberately put that in place to keep kids from accessing the trailer. Although there isn't any violence in the reveal, you can tell by the overall tone the devs are going for is a darker and more violent tone compared to that of Marvel Spider-Man. Which if I might add, Marvel Spider-Man really didn't have any age restrictions. Like when you look at this trailer, you see the bodies laid around the princess bar which the scene takes place, but they aren't dismembered in any type of way. Wolverine probably chose to go easy on these guys by going bare vibranium knuckle in a fist fight, but once this guy right here pulled out the knife, the kid gloves were off and he decides to get down and dirty with a little claw action. It's also worth noting that the crusty blood you see on his knuckles is a heavy indicator of how bloody it will be. The only thing that I could potentially see stopping them from getting that mature rating is the overseers over at Marvel Games, because on their official Twitter handle they mentioned that the highest they'll go in terms of violence is a T for teen rating, but given the fact that Insomni has built a healthy rapport relationship with the red and white brand, I don't think their creative input will be hampered in any way. Also, if they wanted to, they could do what Activision did with X-Men Origins Wolverine and release a toned down version that's more accessible to kids. Because if you remember, they had the regular edition and you had the uncaged edition which was the version everyone wanted since it had all the blood and brutal finishers. So if they wanted to go this route, they most likely could, as long as PlayStation and Marvel approves it. But anyways, regarding the size of this game. As has been stated, it will in fact be full length. 
I know there were a lot of people questioning this since after it was announced that the team behind Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales will be working on this game because to be quite honest it was relatively short and if you're one of those gamers who's not about exploring every nook and cranny of the story mode the most you'll get out of that game is 10 hours top and I think it worked for Miles Morales because for one it was never touted to be a full-fledged sequel to the first game it was an expansion that was developed in the same vein as games like Uncharted Legacy. Not to mention it gave players a taste of what Spider-Man would offer on the PlayStation 5. So there's that. I have no doubt that Marvel's Wolverine will boast just as many hours as Marvel's Spider-Man. Something I appreciate about Insomniac is that they don't make any empty promises when it comes to their release dates. So far they've only given us a release window of 2023 for Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and nothing else, which is likely because they want to make sure the game is highly optimized and polished before they're ready to launch it worldwide. But with that I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What do you think about this news? Do you think that Brian Horton's comments confirmed that Marvel's Wolverine will in fact be rated M for Mature? Or do you think that the big wigs over at Marvel will end up stepping in and sticking to their T for Teen rating? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I ask you like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, it can be a thumbs down. Any feedback is good feedback and will only help me improve on my video. But if you really enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you shared it with all your friends and followers on different social media outlets. Sharing really makes a difference. But once again, this is your boy signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. As a successful YouTube user, I often get questions asking what I use to get my videos tons of views. And the answer to that is TubeBuddy. This thing has helped me take my channel to the next level in ways I never imagined. It's a browser extension that helps new and experienced YouTubers grow fast and optimize their channels. I've been using this extension for years and it's constantly getting updated with new features, like the SEO tool that helps me come up with the perfect title, description, and tags to get more people to click on my videos. It even provides you with analytics besides your videos to see how much traffic your video is generating from various social media sites. The extension is absolutely free, but as a special offer, we're giving a 50% discount for channels that have less than a thousand subscribers that purchase the Pro Upgrade. All you have to do is enter in the code RISINGSTARBUDDY. So if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or taking your content to the next level, download the extension now. You can do so by clicking on this link that will be provided in the description of this video.